Hey guys, what is up? Bro here. So in the last video that I made about raiding, I had someone comment asking how do you find a guild that raids and join them and all that stuff. So I thought I would make a video about it and let you know kind of my tips and tricks for finding a guild and all of that good stuff. If you have any specific questions in this video or if you have any additional comments that you want to add, please leave them in the comment section below. I thought it was thundering. Apparently it was someone driving by with their really loud bass. No one wants to hear your shitty music. Just saying. I'm really enjoying doing this kind of raiding and guild video, so if you have anything else that you want to see me make a video about that I have not already, please let me know in the comment section below and I will try to make a video on it. So uh, let's get started. Number one, first you kind of have to decide what kind of guild you want to find. Um, this is specifically geared towards raiders, so if you're looking for a raiding guild, you have to decide what kind of raiding guild you want to join. There's Casual, semi-casual, semi-hardcore, hardcore. hardcore. Um, casual is more like only raiding one or two days a week. Um, you know, you can kind of play the spec that you want to play. Like if, you know, a certain DPS spec does more damage than the other one, but you want to play the other one, they're kind of just like, okay, that's fine. Um, there's not as much emphasis on clearing content. It's about just having fun. And, you know, if you kill all bosses on normal, that's awesome. You might not necessarily go into heroics. Um, you know, I've known some casual guilds that do go into heroics, and if you do, that's great. Um, but you know, it's not like a huge, like, deal. Like, people just kind of log on a couple hours, raid, and then log off, and that's pretty much what they do. Semi-casual or semi-hardcore is you raid a couple, like, maybe like another day or two more, so maybe three or four days a week. Um, there's a little bit more emphasis on DPS and on structure and on clearing content, um, you know, you can be like in a semi-hardcore, semi-casual, whatever you want to call it, and, you know, clear out all the content in normal and heroic and not be considered hardcore. Um, and then there's hardcore, which is, you know, like the top guilds that raid, you know, six, seven days a week in the beginning of content. There's a lot of emphasis on minimizing and maximizing your character and kind of figuring things out and you go into the PTR and you do all this stuff. So first you have to decide what kind of guilds you want to find. <laughs> which will most likely be based off your current progression and your current knowledge, I guess. Number two, you can create a post in the recruitment forums. I would recommend creating one in the recruitment forums and also creating one in your server forums. If your server is dead, like completely, like there's no raiding guilds or anything, I would probably consider moving servers, if at all possible, when you find a guild, um, just because it'll make things a lot easier. Um, but yeah, make a recruitment post saying you're looking for a guild, let them know your eye level, your class, what kind of guild you're looking for, what days you can raid, um, you know, any additional information if you're just like fresh out of the bag and you maybe even cleared a little bit of normal or you haven't done normal at all, you know, put that in your post. Sometimes there's people that are looking for people that, you know, maybe haven't experienced all the content and they want to help them experience. Number three, if you are on a higher pop server, you can try searching through trade chat. Um, I know on Storm Rage, like even myself, I'm always like spamming the recruitment little advert thing that I have. You can also advertise that you're looking for a guild and you might find one. I know it's a little bit harder to find a guild if you have not cleared up to Garrosh or cleared Garrosh on even just on normal. Sometimes it's hard to find a guild because people don't necessarily want to teach people. But I swear those guilds exist out there. You just have to find them. Number four, if you do find guilds that you are actually interested in, check out their guild website. Kind of get a feel for them and then you can consider applying to the guild if it's a guild that you are interested in and you feel like you'd be a good fit in and you kind of fit like what they're looking for. Number five, it's important to be kind of realistic about your expectations when it comes to finding a guild. If you are maybe only two out of normal or maybe you haven't done normal at all and only your experience is in Flex and LFR, the likelihood of finding a heroic rating guild that will take you in is going to be really, really slim. Um, you know, it's not saying that, you know, you, you're not capable of doing it, you know, it's just from a recruiter standpoint, it's a lot easier if you only have like one or two carry projects or like gear projects um, and you don't have more than that. It's where you basically take people in that haven't cleared as much content as everybody else, but you know that they're a good player, so you're kind of just like funneling them gear that nobody else needs to kind of gear them up to the level that everybody else is. So it's important to be realistic about your recruitment and looking for a guild and just kind of, you know, yeah. Number six, regardless of your experience and regardless of the experience of the guilds that you're applying to, know your class, you know, go to Mr. Robot, go to, you know, various websites to learn your 
your spec and your gemming. Make sure you're properly gemmed. A chance if you have logs, that's great. Even if it's just from like flex or LFR, like logs really help and kind of, you know, if you can show them that you can do this amazing amount of DPS, but you were doing it in the flex, you know, they might bring you into normal. Um, just make sure your character is optimized and make sure you know what you're doing, basically. Number seven. Number seven, try running flex if you have not already. If your only experience is LFR, start running flex, especially if you already have pretty much everything that you can get from LFR and you pretty much have both tokens from the Celestials, which if you're not doing the world bosses, you should be. Um, you already have like your legendaries and stuff. Try running flex. I've seen dozens of people, and I've even like when I've queued for flex, I've had people offer me spots in normal and heroics because they just needed the bodies to fill in the spots and you might get lucky and you might run with these people that you really really like and you want to raid with them and you transfer to their server and then you're you're gg you're good to go number eight if you are still having trouble finding a guild and you can't really find the right fit for you i recommend using the website called open raid i will link in the description box below it is basically where you do things cross realm you can find groups that are probably in the same item level as you um, and see if they'll take you. You just sign up for accounts. It's really easy to use. I haven't really used it that much just because usually if I run flex or normals or heroics or whatever, I usually just kind of join friends. But I have a lot of friends that have used Open Raid and you can actually find some guilds through it too that are recruiting. So I definitely recommend using it. So yeah, go use it. Number nine, use something like social media to your advantage. If you have a Twitter, um, you know, tweet your your class and your spec and all that stuff and say that you're looking for a guild and you might find some people. Um, once again, it's cross realm right now, even for normal and heroics, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find a guild, you just have to find a guild that's willing to take you in if you have a low progression. Number 10, the most important thing is to be patient. You're not going to find a guild right away if you are a lower eye level. You know, the recruitment posts are just not going to come pouring in if you are going to be begging you to come raid if you're only like 530 eye level. Um, you know, you have to be patient and just, you know, keep running LFR and keep running Flux and keep gearing up and you will eventually find a guild, I promise. Don't give up, okay? <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about any of the tips that I mentioned, please let me know in the comment section below or you can contact me on Twitter or YouTube inbox or whatever and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you have any additional tips, please leave them in the comment section below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Five, number five if you are if you are number five what um carry projects and you know like what's it called what is it called gear projects so you are blah. number eight that'll not account Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I think the button's somewhere down there. Uh, also, don't forget to give the thumbs up, comment if you have anything you want to say, and be sure to check out my previous video. And again, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see the next video. Bye!